It's morning, guys. I'm not in the greatest mood because I feel like my birthday is just stressing me out. Like, I want it to be perfect. See, mornings like this when I wake up and I feel not great about life, like, I'm actually not feeling great about life today. I need music to inspire me. This song here by 21 Savage is called Rap Save Me. Now, I don't think you guys understand how much I can relate to this because music, not, not rap music in particular, but music in general saved me, okay? Like, do you see what I mean? Now, listen. From the gutter, rap save me. When is it no longer acceptable to blast trap music in your tinted car? Because I'm about to be 30, so these are things I don't think 30 year olds do like proper thump tunes like that in their cars with their with their tints like whipping, <laughs> whipping, look, <laughs> lay back. Do you know what I mean? I don't really think that some of the 30 year olds do. Like someone said to me, oh, when you have a child, are you gonna still be rolling around? Oh, it's my tune. Are you still gonna be rolling around with tints, like low riding? And I thought, why not? Does that make me, does that make me a bad person that I will still want to roll with my tints and pump my tunes? Is there an age limit on when you can, when you have to stop pumping tunes? And also, why is it not acceptable to have my, my baby in the back seat of a car that's tinted. I don't need everyone to see my baby's face. I would love to know just one, one answer, okay? I just would love to know. What age do we stop getting teenage acne spots? Like say, I've just hit my puberty. Please let me know. At this age, I should not be having any form of spot. This spot, this spot right here. This spot, like say, I, like, say I've just hit puberty. I'm not 18. <sighs> right, second of all, I just want to talk about the fact, obviously, I'm in my training gear. Let's just cover that up. Just cover, cover that up. Just cover that. Yeah, anyway. I'm in my training gear because, yes, I'm very, very close to 30. 30 days to 30. Fucking hell. And I'm trying to look good. <laughs> I'm trying to look good. Not just because I'm vain. I, I keep saying to people, it's not just because I'm vain. But because I'm getting older, I need to take care of my body, look after myself. Eat more veg, eat more healthier. It's what it's all about. It's all about what your version of beautiful is. That's what it's about, your version of beautiful. Now I know I ain't going to the gym to try and look like Nicki Minaj or Cardi B because it ain't gonna happen. The question is, on a daily basis, how am I feeling about turning 30? I think I'm feeling okay today. Today's an okay day. I'm not feeling too like distraught about it. Like no kids, no man, nothing. No, it's all right, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Today I'm feeling all right about it because I'm still enjoying life, isn't it? Like, but I'm not gonna lie, there are days where I wanna like have a little breakdown and just cry to myself and just think, why? What have I been doing for the past thirty years? I think it's only natural to think like that, isn't it? When people, you just sit there and you think, what have I accomplished? And the worst thing is, you could have accomplished a lot. You can actually accomplish a lot and still feel like that. So. Don't get down about it. That's why I gotta keep. My, I keep motivating myself. I'm just sitting there thinking to myself. You know them old people that are proper miserable and they never smile? That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be a miserable old person. I'm gonna be fun up until like my 40s, 50s. Yeah, back to my early 60s. And after that, I'm gonna start being real miserable. <laughs> I can see me now just sitting there getting my grandkids to do everything for me. What are they here for? What is their purpose? It's a lovely day, the sun is shining. Let's go get her. Oh, don't we look good together? Good morning, good morning. Don't watch the hair, it's a mess. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm just sitting here looking at outfits because I've got quite a few events coming up. Literally everybody I know is turning 30. I've got one on Friday, got one next week, the week after that. It's madness. And I'm looking at outfits and what I just thought was really funny is the transition that we go through as females. In your 20s, you're still kind of really trying to find yourself, aren't you? Um, then you get to like late 20s and you're a lot more body confident, confident, body confident. 
and you know your style, you know what suits you, you know what looks good, and you wear what you want. I'm more confident in what I wear, and what I wear might be a bit more revealing, etc. But to be fair, I'm a big woman. The way I see it is when you're in your late 20s, approaching 30s, you're a big blood clot woman, you can wear what you want. So when do we stop dressing all sexy and revealing? When When is it appropriate? That's what I want to know, isn't it? Because... You've got people like Halle Berry that still look good in their 50s. Do you know what I mean? Even my mum, like, they look good in their 50s. So I'm looking at my wardrobe now and I'm thinking, is that suitable? Is that suitable for my age range? Fuck it, I'm still going to wear it. I'm going to... Do you know what? I'm going to be wearing short skirts till I'm about 60, okay? As long as my legs look good and as long as I'm keeping fit, then no one can tell me nothing. Yeah. I am not driving today. I don't think you understand. You know what? I actually record your stupid antics, right? <laughs> Please, I beg, I beg. I'm gonna keep my distance. Listen, it's all love from over here. I'm supporting you, making sure you're okay from over here. Because I can't be sick. Vomit free since 93. Vomit free. Now nah, fuck off, you little snake. Shut up. I'm not going to lie. I had a bad state. I'm going to be so real with you. I am in such a bad mood. Couldn't tell you why. No, it could be a couple of things. One, I'm just tired. I'm just doing so much that... Today, I just, where does time go? Time just goes. I'm always trying to do too many things at once. Two, I could be going through the menopause. But also, I'm deeply offended by people that keep referring to me as 30 or saying, well, you might as well say you're 30 now. No, I'm not 30, I'm still 29. So, Stephanie. Hi. You're also about to turn 30. I know, I'm gonna be 30 in a minute. How are you feeling? I'm so sad. How are you feeling? How does it, impact on you as a woman i feel depressed <laughs> <laughs> it's important for us to not put a time limit on ourselves it's true. because you could be 31 and divorced Adam. they'll do anything for the dollar i could have went to school to be a doctor but i dropped out and chose to be a boss up that's it it's good that you wear this kind of clothes because I can really see where you need to be working. <laughs> 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 <laughs>